Hello, I'm a senior official at the Department of Trade and Industry. Outside office hours, I have other interests. These involve getting together with a few like-minded consenting adults and whiling away our leisure hours by taking it in turns to pour molten wax into each other's bottoms <laughs> and nailing our foreskins to the dining room table. <laughs> but one can have too much of a good thing. <laughs> and the appetite becomes jaded. I felt I was getting into a rut. And then last week I had a slice of luck. In pursuit of more exotic pleasures, I bought, through a specialized magazine, a ticket from Trowbridge to Hastings by Connex Southeast. <laughs> the hours pass with a thrilling slowness, and then something that looked something like a train rumbled into view, <laughs> and those not too weak or exhausted climbed aboard. The dirt on the windows made it impossible to see the outside world. Here I was in my own private, moving, well, barely moving, <laughs> dungeon. <laughs> Instinct took me to the lavatory, and I forced myself to experience ten minutes of filth. <laughs> Studying the patina of the bowl built up by generations of gastroenteritis. <laughs> I reveled in the lack of paper, the tap innocent of water, even the broken lock on the door. I had to clench my buttocks to stop myself coming too soon. <laughs> Back in my seat was another joy. A broken spring had worked its way through the layers of, layers of chewing gum and, and my own thin trousers and was applying acupuncture to my testicles. <laughs> Occasionally, the tannoy would crackle into life and a voice would mutter a few muffled apologies. Apologies? For what? This was paradise! <laughs> my dungeon had been stationary for several blissful hours when the lights flickered and went out. <laughs> the lavatory in the dark. <laughs> that was what was on offer. I felt my way there and inhaled. <laughs> Suddenly the train lurched and I was thrown violently against the redundant flushing mechanism. <laughs> I climaxed as my right hip was dealt a sickening blow. Later, much later, my doctor told me my hip would need to be replaced. <laughs> After the ecstasy I had experienced, I was now ready for the National Health Service. <laughs> the possibilities are literally boundless. 